Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Infinity Train, book three, or season three if you prefer, episode one. So, we're finally back. We are back with more Infinity Train, and I hope this season is good. Season two, again, it wasn't bad. But, it was nowhere near the level of season one. Season one set such a high bar for this series and season two just did not follow up on it. There was a lot of good things about season two, but overall the season was kind of disappointing. It, it just never reached the same level of quality um, and, and just never felt the same. It never had the same kind of impact to me as season one did. But I've heard a lot of people say that book three is the best of the four. Um, so here's to hoping that it lives up to that. Um, so I don't know pretty much anything about this, except I do know what the main character looks like, and I do know about at least one character's return. I, I won't say who, in case anybody is watching this along with me, but that is all I know. Um, just sometimes there's a couple things that you can't really avoid. And that was one of them. Um, unfortunately, I, 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 I wish that weren't the, well, I wish that weren't the case, but unfortunately it was. Um, and the funny thing is I found out about the one character returning when I was looking up an image of the main character to use for the thumb, or not the thumbnail, the channel banner. I just happened to see another character, just one other character who, who was in a previous season. That's all I'll say for the time being. Um, but yeah, so, so the, I know about that. Otherwise, I'm completely blind. I don't know anything about the story or what's going to happen or any lore stuff for this season. I don't know how it connects to previous seasons outside of that one character. Or I, I don't know when this takes place. Like, if it's after the events of when that character appeared before or before the events of that. We'll have to see. What I can say is that I'm excited. Because um, despite being kind of disappointed by book two, I did still like it. it. It was still good. And so I'm hoping that book three is better because I always would hope that. I, I would always hope that each season of a show can be better than the last. And I'm thinking there could be a chance at that. There could, there's a possibility, at least. Um, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, it, without much to talk about because of not knowing much, not much to put in these pre-thoughts, you know? Um, so we're just going to get right into it. We are going to check this out, see how the first episode goes, and go from there. Um, but yeah. Let's do this. When the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. Hey everyone, and we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in three, two, one. One now. So like I said at the end of the reaction, I keep forgetting that this series is that this series has 11 minute episodes instead of full 
like half hour episodes or well more like 22 minutes but still i, I forget that they're half length i forgot that in, in in book two and now i'm forgetting it here um but that does uh free up a lot of recording time so that helps um so I kind of said it in the in the reaction. I'll say it again here. They took the most interesting part of book two, and and that's what they seem to be following for this season, at least as of now. Um, we start off with oh god, I can't remember their name. Um, Grace and what's his face? I, I'll get them down. It's I'll get them down eventually. Um, but Grace and her crew um, basically attacking and raiding this car, this like theater car, 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 blah, 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 blah. car, not cart. There's no T. I got to stop adding that T. They raid this theater car and my God, it's just like, I, I, I know they, like, revealed them as bad guys last season and everything. And we found out why and everything. But, my God, it's just, the stuff they're doing is horrific. Like, th these are living sentient beings. And, like, they're not only just not seeing them as such. They're not only just not seeing them as, like, in their, in their words, people. But, they're killing destroying like raiding and doing all this horrific stuff ruining their lives for their own selfish gain all because it makes their numbers go up and gives them stuff it's horrific and it's and it's interesting though because if we're following them that means that this season's following the bad guys. But then who is the girl that I saw the pictures of? The one that I knew is the main character this season. I guess she just hasn't shown up yet. I guess maybe episode one was just to like kind of introduce us to, I guess, part of what the season's going to be focused on it before actually giving us the, the main character. Um, I don't know. Don't tell me in the comments below. No spoilers. Um... But yeah, really interesting that we didn't see who I thought was the main character um, at all in this episode. Um, but yeah, so after raiding the theater car, they go back and the kids start like giving these offerings to Grace, which also is very fucked up. Um, and she's telling every single one of them, it's like, Oh, don't tell anyone else, but I, I like yours the best. I'm going to put in my special collection. And she's doing this literally for all of them. And it's like, oh my god. Uh, but then the one kid comes uh, with the messed up head of one of the uh, sentient lights, I think it was, from the, um, from the theater car. And it's like, oh my god. And and they're treating it like an and they're treating him like an object rather than a sentient being. And it's like, oh my god. And it's it's like, it's it's legitimately bothering me, because it's like I I don't know anything about this light. I I don't know anything about them at all, other than they were a light in a theater. That's it. But I don't need to know anything. And just seeing them treated so terribly by these people to be treated as not just lesser, but as a literal just object for their amusement. It's so fucking gross. It's sickening. It's like, oh my God. Like they really want us to hate these characters right off the bat. Like they're not holding back. Um, Owen oh, Dennis, it's just like, Jesus, dude, you, you could chill a little bit. It's like, we, we already know from last season why not to like them. You, you don't need to go this hard. Um, like seeing them burn down the theater car and everything and all that destruction. It's like, 
like even the lighting was clear it, it, it's like reminiscent of that kind of destruction in action movies and um and and these big like horrific tragedies you see in some films it, like the lighting of it is like it's scary almost it's like oh my god and even at the end, like right before they leave, right, right when they're leaving the car and all, you see the 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 tragedy mask um, come up and sing, like sadly sing a little bit of the song they were singing before. And, and But the comedy mask is nowhere to be seen. And it's like, oh, and I think I said drama and comedy in, in the reaction, it's tragedy and comedy. Um, but it's like, oh, and it's kind of like an oh god moment because because of what that kind of implies jesus and it's just it's upsetting it is genuinely upsetting and it's like again they went hard right off the bat own dennis and the crew like made sure that like they left an impact with that scene and, and even with the turtle car afterwards, even if it was kind of weird and silly, it's like, it, it still left an impact on you. <sighs> Which I, I very much think was the point. Like, they wanted us to remember how much we are supposed to hate these characters. So, so I definitely think that was the point, but still, it's like, Jesus... So I wonder who this other character, this kid, is going to be and how she's going to get involved with them. Is it, are they just going to be on opposing sides or is this kid with them already and we just don't know? And is this before or after the uh, events in book two? I don't know that yet either. And again, do not tell me in the comments below. I don't want spoilers. Um, the numbers on their arms could probably tell me, but still, I don't. I don't want spoilers. Don't tell me. I'll figure it out eventually, probably. <laughs> um, I'll worry about that when we get to that. But either way, either way. Uh, oh, Simon. Simon was the guy's name, by the way. I just. I just thought of that for some reason. <laughs> Grace and Simon. So at the end. Uh, one of the cars, the turtle car actually, ends up shifting. So we know what that means when the cars like lift up and go across and go back down somewhere else on the train. Um, we've seen this happen in the previous books, but apparently train cars aren't supposed to do that if someone is inside. Not like an inhabitant of that car, but like someone who's not, like a, 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 a someone else <laughs> um basically so that's interesting but now they're like like what was it 40 something cars uh, away from their uh, from their place so yeah that's fun so they're they have to head through all these different cars to get back to their base the mall so yeah and that's kind of where it leaves off. So what a way to start the season. Like a really, honestly, strong start. Like it, it, as disturbed as I was by it, I can't deny it. I can't deny its quality. It was a strong, well-made start that really gets you invested and interested right off the bat. So yeah. Tell me in the comments below what you thought of this episode of Infinity Train, uh, book three, or again, season three, um, episode one, in the comments below. And once more, no spoilers, please. For now, though, uh, yeah, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See you all next time.